What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video. In this video, I'm going to have some TBG rewards later. Uh, my quest rewards as well. And uh, just overall talk to you guys like, oh my god, the support has been truly, truly amazing. Before I shout out all my brand new legends, I just want to say a big, big thank you to the WWE Supercard community with, for the tremendous support. You guys have been killing it. Yesterday I did a live stream. I wasn't expecting, you know, like, to have like a hundred plus people. I was expecting a normal Road to Glory stream, 80 people, maybe a thousand views, somewhat stream for you guys. We streamed two and a half hours, guys. Two and a half hours. We had over 389 people in the stream at one point. 389 people. And we had an overall channel view of 7.2 thousand views in just a Road to Glory stream. Usually, I don't get this until a brand new tier releases. And what the hell? How the hell did this happen? I'm a loss for words. I'm in, I'm in complete shock. Whatever happened... I, I thank you guys so, so much for all the support that you guys have given me. It's truly insane how this happened. I didn't expect this. Not even. Didn't have that expectations. So all I can say is thank you guys so, so much for everything. Now, now will be the time to shout out the legends. So I did promise everyone, if you did subscribe and your profile was public, you will make the legendary list. So here's my first list of legends. Shout out to these legends, man. These legends are amazing. Thank you guys for the support. Shout out to these legends over here as well. These guys are amazing. Thank all you guys so, so much. Damn legends, you know. You're not done yet. Mm, all those other legends over there, man. That's a lot of damn legends, man. Thank you, legends. Appreciate it, as always. And uh, the last two legends. So, yeah, guys. If you want to be on the list of legends... Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Recently subscribed to the channel. And make sure your profile is public. You will make the list of legends if you do so. I promise. Promise you will make the list of legends. So now guys, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video before I do my TBG. And the quest for you guys. A lot of people are still giving me questions like, Ed, how does gear work? I still don't know. Now, it's not really complicated. It's pretty simple. So let me just break it down real quick for a lot of people who just don't know because I think a lot, so many people are so confused. Now, gear comes with one, it comes with two perks that you have to work on and then one guaranteed perk that you get on the card. Uh, Vanguard is, I believe, I don't know how much this guy got, all abilities you can see, I got all mouth guards for Vanguard. I think it's like 20 something K. I don't remember what it is though. But anyways, uh, maybe like 23, 21. Who knows? So yeah, pretty much gear works is the first perk you have to unlock by playing 50 games. And then you could shuffle it for 50 credits to start, and then it goes all the way up to 250. That is the max you pay. Uh, but then you get all... These are the possibles. You get a random one. You hope to get the highest one, obviously, out of all these from like the, the top one. So again, I got here the highest one. So yippity doo da. Then there's the one... 25 and charisma as you can see there's 140 150 depending on the stat i think it's like the lowest stat is the lowest number and then the lowest well the lowest stat is the highest number and then whatever the best stat is is they'd be the lowest for that specific card so as you see you got 125k to charisma which is the lowest but i think that's edge's best stat so obviously it makes the total most sense but there's a lot of things here that could be and then as you see i'm at 125 so i had to shuffle uh three to four times to get this now, unfortunately, this one has caused me so much pain and stress, uh, the Kevin Ash one. Uh, as you can see, my shovels are maxed. I spent over 1,000 and couldn't get the, the big one on this one, which is like seven, 101. And that's a lot when you think about it. It's a lot. Is it worth it? An extra 50K? You're damn right it's going to be worth it, but it's just too much money. This gear failed me, so I'm going to test my luck on these other gears when they're done and ready to go. And yes, once you play... 50 matches you have to play an additional 100 matches which means you have to play 150 matches on this to max it out for anyone who's curious about that so 
that's how gears pretty much work and they do make your cards extremely OP so you might want to do it <laughs> now we did finish the regular Undertaker uh, it was honestly not bad like in the middle Undertaker it was extremely the hardest for some reason but then when it got towards the end I started getting bots and it was just weird I don't understand why I was getting bots at the end and humans in the middle, like the hard humans, like Jaraxxel, you know, Spencer, and like the other top guys out there, uh, Macho Warrior, <laughs> trash. So it was weird to have bots at the end, but hey, we did, we plus 10 the entire event. Undertaker's Shatter Image, in my opinion, is the best, unless you have maybe a throwback or something like that. So yeah, I did vote on what was the best image, and this one was pretty much the number one. Number two, is the WrestleMania Season 2 image. For some reason, people really, really enjoyed this image on the card. I, I can understand why. However, the glow kind of kills it. And it's pretty much the rare Season 1 image. It's just a smaller version without the glow. And I'm not a big fan of the image, to be fair. I did think this one had a good chance of being a contender. I did also say the PCC one wasn't that bad either. And I have to say, also, the fusion one as well is not bad. I just don't like the tattoo shadowing on it. It looks terrible. But everything else is pretty much good. So, whichever one is best for y'all. I tried these. They're terrible. This one isn't bad. It is the most one of the rarest images in the game. But the glow is just a little too much, I guess. Maybe when it's pro, it'll be different. And a lot of people like the zombie version. Eh, it's alright. It's not the greatest. And, uh... So yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Rob Schamberger images. It's just meh to me. And I think this one's decent for what it is. The other one was terrible. Don't go, don't use the event one because you get lines, as you can watch if you want to see right here. These lines kind of kill it for me. It's just terrible. Don't know why this, those are there. So yeah, guys, you can make up your own mind, but I feel like the Shattered is the best image on this card. But the hand, it's, it's like he's grabbing the toughness because you know he, you can't touch him in toughness. He, know, he knows you can't touch him. So yeah, I'm going with this image all day. So they've recently released money in the bank cards. And a lot of people are telling me, Ed, are you going to go for it right now? I am holding off for now. Holding off for now. But they are great cards. Now, I've seen a lot of people go for Bray here. And for me, honestly, as much as Bray is a beautiful image, John Cena is the better card to go for. Now, a lot of people are like, Ed, how... Hear me out. John Cena is power and charisma, and Bray uh, the Fiend is power and toughness. So the Fiend wins in power and toughness. John Cena wins in speed and charisma. If John Cena procs, he beats the Fiend in three stats. Pretty much. If the Fiend doesn't proc, of course. So he has potential to beat him in speed, charisma, and if he procs, he beats him in power. So John Cena is the better card, but people are going for The Fiend because everyone doesn't want a John Cena card. We have so many John Cena cards out there. But for super card, want to kick your ass type cards, John Cena is the way to go. But if you just want, you know, the image, Bray Wyatt is the way to go. They're both not bad cards. You get about 2 point, and the up ends of 2.5, and the low ends of 2.6 million on the pro. Then it'll get higher if you F1, F2, F3, which they have introduced now. The contracts are a little steep. I think they should have lowered it to like 18 to 20K to make it more reasonable for people to get F3s because even if you had 100K, you still couldn't get the F3. So you got to do a little better with this. But if you're going for the, the stats, John Cena. If you're going for the image, Fiend. Make up your mind. It's up to you. Now we're going to get into our TBG and my quest rewards. So here you guys go with that. Alright guys, we got some Team Battleground rewards. Can we pull another WrestleMania from our pack? We're 1 in 3, I think. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Oh yeah! Can it be luck? Of course not. Hey, F2 Triple H. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can't get greedy, right? Ooh, Sasha Banks is already F3 though. Damn. Oh well. Trash. Alright you guys, we have finished the quest 
took one day, like I said, it was going to take uh, because, you know, as a guy who knows how to play this game, I knew that they were going to change this to play Road to Glory and Money in the Bank. It was too obvious, so yeah, we finished everything. I pulled the WrestleMania 36 gear, which made me finish Car Collector. Also did get a pull as well earlier, which was Big E, so either way, it worked, so not difficult. Now, I can't claim the tickets for five uh, for six days or five days. I can't claim those tickets because, as you know, we are full on tickets, but it's okay. Whatever. I could wait five days for that because I'm not spending my tickets. So let's get our draft picks real quick. We get our 10 draft picks. Uh, training time, I really don't care. Uh, Trains are just so useless to us. Uh, money in the bank contracts, you could definitely use some of those because, as you all know, there is a Bray Wyatt card up now, so we might actually want to go for that. Credits, I just spent a lot of credits on swapping, so I could use some extra credits right now, to be honest with you. And I w I'm hoping to get a WrestleMania 36 out of you because those actually do give a lot. I mean, a lot of good shit. So I'm hoping we get the gear up WrestleMania. Uh, there is tramps in here, so you don't know which ones it's going to be until you see it, I guess. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, there's a WrestleMania, and I already see we got a Vanguard mouth guard. So I think we that's just a train up. Unfortunately, we got the worst possible reward. And I already have this one on my Kevin Nash. So, yeah. At least we got our third one, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, you guys, that will do it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. Thank you guys so much for the continuing support on the channel. You guys have no idea how much it's making me feel. It's, making, it's just bringing a new light to me. So you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, would like to make the list of legends, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure your account is public, though, so I can actually have you to the list of legends. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys have just been killing it. Thank you again. I will see you on the next episode. Take care.